Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I'll be playing Riftbound. Now the game is a tower defense, very unlike to plants versus zombies, but it is, uh, I guess, elementals versus skeletons. And uh, the idea being that it's a roguelike, there is also story mode and endless survival, I haven't tested this, we're gonna only play the roguelike at least for today, or at least if I do two or three runs, at least for those couple of days. And yeah, there is meta progression, there are a lot of things going on, and uh, I have already played about, I would say, six, seven hours. I can't say the game is easy, to be honest i can't say it's easy we're gonna play on super easy mode so we get a win in and then we're slowly gonna creep up uh, higher and higher if we are uh, powerful and awesome and whatnot at the end of the day the main thing that matters is having fun and i'm gonna have fun so uh what are the choices we can either go with waterling shoots a water bolt that deals water damage and inflicts wet slowing movement and causing the target to take extra damage from electric attacks i do enjoy that as an idea Reveling shoots a fire projectile, uh, fast projectile dealing physical damage, and firing shoots a fire bolt and that deals fire damage. Uh, honestly, this has the lowest attack, but the highest attack speed, uh, and this has the highest attack, but also burning, as you see in the right side, it says deals fire damage, and increase movement speed, so that makes the opponents move faster. I think this has the highest DPS, this has the utility, and this has... I, could, I guess this has... You know what, let's, let's go with slowing. I think this thing has a level up where it pierces. So what do we do here? Obviously, we have the classic path. Now, a thing that is very important in this game, which um, I would... I'm not sure if I agree or disagree, but it doesn't matter really, is the danger level. So uh, every time we take a step, we increase our danger level. What does that mean? Well, that means these paths here that have actually events inside of them actually make the game harder. So we don't really, really want to go there. What we do want to go to is this shop here as that is selling relics. So I'm going to say we go this path. Uh, there is also legend here of, as to what we find. Blue lightning means a spell. That means another thing we can cast inside the game. Uh, this little uh, silver thing means an upgrade, which is really important, and this is money up. And as you can see, we, I have some meta progression that shows you what's upcoming. That's why there are like a question mark here. That means this is going to have a reward inside of it and this too. Uh, but it doesn't look as deep to be able to see what this encounter is. This here uh, used to be a question mark if I didn't have the meta progression. Anyway, let's go down and let's begin the run itself. And uh, these are my starting units. I have also this thing, right, to rebind. No, I don't need to. Let's begin. So uh, we have the classic layout uh, with, like, zombies, uh, like, uh, plants versus zombies, as I said. So that means we're going to have five lanes. This is meta aggression, heavy two. So normally you start with three lanes. And we're going to set up one of these that start creating money for us. And uh, speed up the game because the run is going to last a while. As far as I know, the game takes a while in general. So let's just invest into anything here and see how this goes. Let's hope we're going to get what we can get and be as lucky as we can get. Okay, first opponent is here. Let's spawn our unit. Uh, theoretically, one versus one, my unit should not really be able to beat this. You know what? I'm going to take the gamble here. I also have HP regen, by the way, because of meta progression. It also max life on my units because of meta progression. In general, the game isn't as easy without meta progression. Uh, it's borderline needed, borderline forced onto you that you have to go into meta progression, and yeah, that's that, I guess. But that is, you know, the classic case of these roguelikes, which I'm not really against. I just, it just took me a while to get everything set up so I can get a decent run going to showcase you guys. Uh, because otherwise, you know, I don't really enjoy showcasing 20 minute videos where I just straight up lose because the game is made in a way where you're not actually supposed to win. You know, the part of not supposed to be winning is relevant to me because that's as a content creator, I'm like, oh no, I don't like that I'm losing. But as a player, I, I don't care. Like, uh, it's slowly leveling up and getting meta progression and uh, becoming more powerful and then actually winning. That is something I do enjoy. As a content creator, it's a bit tiring, obviously, because you have to do those runs or you can just upload uh, mediocre runs or whatever. But that doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's continue. Opponents are coming in. As you see, opponents are skeletons and we are elementals, as I said. And we're just setting up our whole armada here. These are the turrets, these are the energy generators, and there is this little wisp here that goes around and picks up the energy. Uh, and we don't, we can't really do anything, we, we have to wait for this wisp to go around. And that is also part of the game. Like, there are uh, relics that say that the wisp moves faster, or every time the wisp picks up energy, you get damage. Or there are a bunch of things that have to do with this mechanic itself, so that's why it exists. In the beginning, it looks like, why would it be like that? But, you know, it makes sense uh, if you start running through the game itself. Um, okay, we got our first spell. I have three rules. I know exactly what spell I would like. I would like to get electricity. Uh, time shift is also good since an opponent back. So let's see what we have. First of all, we got deal 25 damage and apply burning too. That's useless as freeze and slow and everything I'm using right now with the characters actually makes fire go away. So we cannot go fire build. We're going to go lightning build. Uh, rock wall creates a defensive rock wall across three lanes. 
honestly, I'm a five lane character. And then time shift rewinds time for an enemy, sending them back to a tile they started on, removing their stats effects and healing them fully. Has a 10% chance to unexpected results. Unexpected results is that the enemy just gets yeeted and deleted from the universe. And this is what I actually want. Zap an enemy with a charge of electricity, deals electric damage and inflicts stunned and charged to on the target now the moment i pick up an electricity trait uh, an electricity card i'm gonna start finding electricity cards uh, relics i'm gonna start finding electricity relics and i'm not so sure i want to i want to stick to water relics for now Counter pull of water that deals water damage inflicts wet pushes targets backwards into an adjacent lane pushing up pushing opponents backwards into a lane isn't really a good idea i'm gonna say let's roll again maybe we can find something better no we're finding only the basic spells i guess we're gonna start with zap and uh, we're gonna go into electricity because water and electricity do combo together. So we're gonna go like a lightning fire, um, a water lightning build. And we got heroic transformation, turn any the elemental into a hero, gaining heroic upgrades. This is also part of the game. So from here on out, every time we get a level, we're gonna be able to power up our hero. Uh, specifically, I will obviously go for the options that are dependent, uh, based on attack. There are defensive options for heroes. So you buff, for example, a tank, and there are offens uh, offensive options for heroes. So you buff a tower. Of course, I'm gonna go with offensive. These are all defensive. If if it's like a shield, if it looks like this, it's always a defensive one. This says, after taking damage, uh, give regen to somebody. This is after taking damage, heal yourself and deal the damage to the guy behind you. And this is after taking health damage, uh, an ally behind gets strength. So all of these are for tank heroes. I don't care about tank heroes. This is what I care about. This is exactly what I care about. Increase damage by 10%. I will try to get that as many times as we can. And we unlock the other event too. This event is, there's, there is a totem on the map that does random things, like puts bombs on the ground or whatnot. And this is, uh, you start with a random tower in the map. Both of these are decent-ish, but they make the game harder once again. So avoiding them was the correct choice. I see another spell is incoming. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go this path because as I said, shop is the most important thing to get. And also harder fights is also very important to get so that you get more money out of it and better rewards and whatnot. This loading screen is always a thing, by the way. There's, uh, there is always a baseline loading for some reason. Let's speed the game up as always, and let's put like three things down. Now, the first relic I would like to get is either water links or ether links. Like these ones uh, are cheaper and faster to produce or level up. That is like the best thing you can get. Uh, we got our first enemy. Let's instantly get a hero. Hero damage now the hero alone should obviously be able to uh, be defeat this with 10 percent more damage if anything we should be able to defeat both of these guys uh supposedly but uh for safety reasons i would say maybe put in our water yeah we're definitely gonna put in our water link here as at this point we can see that opponents are incoming now opponents are doing 20 damage to us and we have 20 health per 10 as far as i know healing from a meta progression so we will slowly heal up i'm not sure if the game becomes harder on purpose the more meta progression you have because that is really what it feels like from my time playing the game definitely has started to become harder and harder so not only is it unbeatable completely unbeatable without meta progression i mean i don't think it's completely unbeatable but it's very very hard to win without meta progression and uh, yeah not only that but the game becomes also harder if you get meta progression so it's a lose-lose scenario that one i'm not okay with like, i don't enjoy games becoming harder because i have more meta progression i do agree with difficulty settings though i do agree with in the beginning of the run where you can have difficulty settings and ascension levels and all that with that i'm full on on board with i specifically don't enjoy the challenges but a lot of people do so um yeah if you want to challenge i'm all for higher difficulty settings uh, ascension levels and all that just don't force it upon the players don't be like oh if you don't play on hard mode you don't unlock anything or if you don't play on hard mode you get gimped because we force you uh, challenge down your throat if you want or not i don't care you know that's the thing i wanted to do by the way i want to talk for difficulty games and whatnot in a podcast i'm gonna do a podcast at some point or another i'm about to go into vacation right now if i'm not already on vacation based on when this gets uploaded but um at some point i want to talk about my philosophy of gaming and in general what i enjoy because i've started like seeing a new uh, youtuber i think fleasy or feasible busy or F i don't remember i i remember that the first three letters were were f-e-e -E, and um yeah, he's like all for fun and stop being making the games hard and whatnot. Of course, it's a bit of a meme channel. And I, I super reverberated with that. I was like, yeah, exactly, man. It's all about fun. Ether type elementals generate more energy. Uh, or each time the Wisp collects energy, it shoots a projectile down the lane, dealing 50 damage. This is exactly what I said previously. And this is each time the Wisp collects energy, it buffs energy. I mean, these are both really, really, really good. This one is actually one of the better ones in general. But I think I'm going to go with Ether type elemental generate 10% more energy so that I can set up a lot more things. And if I find that projectile shooting out again, we're gonna see this is gonna be a level up on the hero. 
So let's see what level up we get. Increase 20 max up. This is a joke, by the way. This is the worst upgrade ever. Don't take this. And why? Because there is literally a meta progression that gives you 25 max health on all your elementals. Like all of them. 25. And I have that thing leveled up four times. So I have 100 more max health. And this gives me 20 to one unit. Like to one. This is another one. On attack, give one armor to the road max ally. That's also good. Uh, but we're going to try to use all our rerolls. Here we go. 10% damage. 10% damage is like the only thing that matters in my in my opinion as uh, it helps with killing the boss and in general you know if you get rid of the opponent from the map and he's no longer alive then you don't need to give armor to anybody um so yeah damage is always the play in my opinion and let's speed the game up again so from here on out we're gonna start gaining some random numbers instead of gaining you know 30 per pop because these gives you 30 now they're gonna be giving us um 10 percent of three that's 33 so every 10 pickups is a free pickup uh, we could say this isn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Eh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we're doing how much damage, by the way, per shot? We're doing 10 damage per shot. Is that actual 10 damage, though? That's something I'm not really aware of. You have a toast already. I do enjoy that we're also slowing down the opponents by how much percent? By 15%. And they also take 25% more electric damage. Nice. He's gonna arrow shot us, it's okay. He did 22. It's a joke number, obviously. It's not going to be an issue for us. And let's continue setting up my energy, econ. And at that point, at this point, we're already set up completely. So I just wait for the waves to arrive. Might as well summon. This might be take us. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was about to say this might bite us, but nope, I think they didn't. And at this point, my cooldowns are also ready. So I have one enemy, uh, not enemy, one ally on each lane. And we are ready for a victory. Might as well just set up whatever. And slowly continue building this up. Slowly building up my defense team. I mean, this is what the game looks like most of the time. There should be a times four speed, by the way, especially for the early waves. Maybe even a times five or a times ten, because these super duper early waves. I mean, times ten would be really janky to look at, but these super early waves are like we're doing nothing. I can't even push the waves to the front. Like this is not clickable here. There is no push a wave, and and guess unless there is in the controls, maybe. Battle pause, decrease speed, increase speed, recall, evolve. Mm, nope, there is not. Evolve is a button. Okay, E4 evolve. Control mode, auto detect. Yeah, so there is nothing to actually push the waves faster other than the waves getting pushed themselves. Hey, look, this guy has a shield and uh, let's go with hero. Da -da 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 -da. Lightning, 43 lightning damage right there. This guy is also shield. Ah, that is what this symbol is, that opponents will have a shield. That's good to know. Now we're also using a zap. I mean, we have so much energy overflow that what would we do without Zap? And I would like to get some other electricity related passives, if possible. Uh, spells, I guess, not passives. Nice, we got our money there. Double the money that we would have gained. And also another level into our hero passive. So let's see what we can get. Give armor, no 10% damage. Always, always, always. I'm going to always go for the 10% damage. And let's go on. Because armor, like one armor per attack is extremely low. Imagine that all my units have 100 health. So one armor means that... I need to do like 100 attacks for it to pretty much just be their main base health. Or think about it the following way. I have 20 healing per 10. And that thing is pretty much giving us 1 per 1. While my HP region is 2 per one, two per second, right? We have 2 healing per second pretty much. Uh oh. This is going to be a real issue now. Let's go with a double attacker. Uh, I mean, with the two attacks, we should be able to handle this. Oh, no, 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 no. We got some issues. We're not going to survive this. Okay, here we go. Take some shots. Yeah, and the game just became harder, extremely faster. Lightning this guy. Uh, let's maybe sacrifice uh, one of the money guys. You're watered, so you're dead. Nope. Oh, yes. Nice. Both of them died. Very nice. Let's start putting... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, that's the song, right? Electrify, so he hits the back line. I guess we're most likely going to survive. Let's go with two units. Now they're going to attack the front line. Very nice. I mean, my econ isn't ready, but um, we should be able to handle this easily. Uh, I don't think he's going to beat us. And even if he does, I'm going to lightning him before he does. So, boom. And your toast. Very nice. I mean, that's why we got the lightning in the first place. Because water says... That lightning does 25% more damage. That's obviously our build. The lightning build. Let's go with two shots again. Bye bye you. Top's gonna have an issue as far as I'm seeing. Actually, 
it looks like the shielding is important but as you see like the armor seems to be a lot but the moment the shield falls you're gonna see him lose a lot of health very fast you're gonna see like Trup. do you see how fast they lose health like armor is more than the health uh, and that is important to realize because there are spells that specifically target armor like there are things that specifically target armor and that is important for that exactly reason invigorates oh we found a, an evolution of waterling first of all it doesn't damage invigorates adjacent elementals increasing their attack output invigorates is 25 percent higher attack speed and 25 percent increased damage does this stack infinitely 25 attack speed 25 damage um this sounds like a good idea fire explosion and lightning strikes five by one is like downwards hold on a lightning strike on enemies anywhere in the target column deals electric damage inflicts stun and charge on the target okay i'm not sure about invigoration this is permanent adjacent elementals mm, i'm not really sure about this let's roll here lightning strikes is good let's roll we can find better things okay definitely not these definitely not these moonbeam is good Oh no. Oh no, that was extremely unlucky. Uh, yeah, I pushed my luck a bit too much. So this is a level on the Etherling. I could take this. I mean, I'm going to take this. Takes enemy items, converts into energy for the Wisp to collect for a short range. Targets shield, armor, and some weapons. So this is going to be like, we're going to steal away the armor of opponents. I'm not sure how good this is going to be, like in actuality. Maybe should have gone with the Invigorates. Uh, we found Invigorates again. Water type elementals cost 10% less and volt 10 seconds faster. We take this and go. We take this and go. We have 50 coins. So let's go into the next one. So now we got cheaper elementals and also easier to cast elementals. Now actually cheaper and easier to evolve. Although I literally throw away the evolution when I had the chance to get it. For what? For a mediocre evolution on this thing. Pretty disappointed with myself, but it's okay. We got this. We got this. We can still recoup. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm not pretty sure. I would say that this game... You really, 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 really need to make sure that you're gonna min-max a bit. Because if you don't, like, every single card you get, every single spell you get, is a spell that you could have gotten that you didn't get. So it's extremely important to get exact things that you want to. Let's level this thing up as fast as possible. When these guys come close, we're gonna start stealing their armor away. Is that gonna happen today? Hello? Yep, evolution just happened. Did we? No, that was an issue. That was really bad. Did I lose a hero? Oof. We actually lost the game. Lightning this guy. I didn't even water him in time. But we got him in time. Uh, I'm gonna put another water right in the same spot. I know this doesn't look like min-maxing the correct way, but it's okay. We're gonna recoup everything that we lost. Slowly but surely. It doesn't matter if I don't play perfectly here. As uh, just winning and not getting attacked in the wave is like literally the only thing that matters. As long as I don't lose the wave, I'm good. I'm good to go. This has 5 range, supposedly. So from there it already took it. It, took, it takes it very fast. It's actually really good. Continue putting... I would say let's put these plants up in the front line. And um, yeah, let's continue just straight up putting plants in. Because I have so much money in the economy right now. Okay, evolve this guy. I don't think it's going to evolve in time, but who knows? Who knows? It didn't evolve in time. Unbelievable. <laughs> it should also already be pre-leveled. Let's go water elemental in front of it. So it tanks. This guy's going to die. Nope, it didn't. Very nice. We obviously want... Oh, here we go. We start eating things. Yeah, this increased our DPS. Now we have plants that increase our DPS, to be honest, because it removes the armor the opponents have. That's actually really good. I take back what I said. We This is going well. We found Frost Elemental. This is what I actually wanted. And Shock Nintendo. This is also very important. Uh, shots a Frost Ball that deals water damage and inflicts chilled slowing movement speed and attack speed. Reduce movement speed by 25 and attack speed by 10%. Cancelled burning. So no longer water. Now chilled. I'm going to take this. Obviously, it's an upgrade on my main unit we have. And uh, now I can level that up too. Let's see what we find. 10% damage. I don't even need to think about this. Rip, loop de loop. And didn't get a level out of that. And at this point, we have a level on this that is important. And let's go for the first boss. So, just to be clear, can I see how much range this has? Nope, let's begin the fight. We have also the electricity stun. Uh, the lightning glyph uh, stuns an opponent for 6 seconds, and then if they die, they uh, explode for a lot of AoE. That's what it pretty much does. Overcharge! Now, what does happen here? We lose all our shielding, so if, I, if a single opponent gets through, we lose. But I'm gonna get a lot of energy and a lot of energy regen for the rest of the game. That is what exactly happens. Let's speed the game up here. And let's spawn, 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 spawn. Actually, where am I even spawning my things? 
That is a completely wrong spot where I'm putting them. And uh, yeah, oh, he's about to hammer slammer. When he hammer slammers, there is a mechanic here where you can use a spirit shield that says shield the target, decreasing damage from taken by 80%, gives you a 25% chance to receive five energy each time the target, target gets hit. But that's really relevant. What is relevant is boom, uh, get deflected. I'm gonna start leveling up my units now. Uh, I would say we sell these so we set up the lineup the way I wanted to. Um, please water this guy. Nice. Let's go like this. Uh, a slammer slammer is incoming. Boom. He killed his own friend. Let's remove this guy too. Uh, I will start leveling the plants up. I will also start leveling these guys up. Oh, we got an enemy that has a uh, ability and this guy is that when he moves he poisons the ground. Which is pretty dangerous in general. But it's okay. We're not gonna really lose from that. Let's shield the incoming wave. Boom. And at this point, I'm gonna say all of these guys need evolutions. There is another uh, guy here. Come on. No, he cursed the lane. That's pretty bad for us, obviously. Uh, I will level up all my units so we have the chilled effect going on. Chilled effect is not the same as wet effect, which means that I will not be getting the bonus lightning damage. And this guy is also poisoned, so once again, my whole ground is done. Let's spam some units here. Spam some units here. I'm just gonna spam a couple of units. I'm still waiting for the poison ground to go away. Poison ground is away. We're gonna now start planting the front line. As I said, we want to definitely uh, drain all the opponents from any armor they might get. And let's start leveling up the back line with even more ice throwers. I only need one line of water throwers just to maintain the water buff. The rest can be whatever. Oh, attack incoming. Deflected! As uh, Key and Peel would say, <laughs> deflected. I don't know if you even get the joke, but it is what it is. Let's continue setting up all my units while we have armor drainers, while we have attack speed. And at this point, we got complete control of the map. And uh, I haven't used the uh, hero transformation yet once, but I don't think we need to. At the end of the day, we're just setting things up. And let's also start lightning in the boss every time I get the chance. Energy leech is what the boss has an, as an affix. Oh, the boss, by the way, get affixes in this game. He's about to hammer slammer. Deflected. And we're gonna continue lighting him down every time I get the chance. We can also set up like units wherever we want. Like in the very, very front line. It doesn't even matter. Like I literally can set up the units wherever I want. He's about to do the hammer slammer. Yep. Deflected. By the way, there is a little trick. Never ever try to deflect the on the front line because it doesn't work. The boss should enrage right now. By the way, the boss is always spawning more and more units in. Deflect incoming. What happened? Set this thing up again. Whoop, he's doing a double kaboom. I can't really get it in time. Here we go. Uh, this guy got already hit. Oop, deflected back. Uh, we did lose what we lost, but it's okay. You lose what you lose. Can't really do anything about it now, can you? I'm waiting for the opponent to arrive again. There is a poison ground there. Lightning him. Okay, continue to attack all the time. Lightning him. Uh, I'm always lightning in. I, like, I'm trying to cast my spells. Spells are really important in this game, specifically because of uh, boss fights. Because you need something to do damage to either the boss. Because right now, as you see, I literally have covered the whole map. And the bo I, I, I have like 600 energy that I don't know what to do with. So that is why it's... Oh, I'm gonna get hit again. Deflected. And at this point, he doesn't have enough surviving. We won. Nice. Easy and easy boss. Very easy boss. Here we're gonna get our second um, elemental. We can go for either of the two of the starting ones, which is fire or air. Or we can go for stone, which obviously we're gonna go for stone. Moderate health absorb large amounts of uh, damage, but does not attack. So this is just a tank. And uh, the buff we get is elementals evolve five seconds faster. I think this is godlike in general. Uh, each time the wisp collects energy, all additional elements are healed. This is also godlike, but I think this is better. Being able to just click the button and everything evolves instantly is insane. And we're gonna go for 10% damage, as always. There we go, very nice. And our level. Woo, and our level. Let's go for another 10% damage on the hero. Oh, we got a second hero. Now I can have two heroes in each battle. We roll into damage. Here we go, 10% damage. By the way, crit is double damage. So 5% crit chance is 5% damage, pretty much, if you go the mathematical route. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, if I want to go to a shop, which I want, because it's the most important one, I have. I am forced to go the top path, and I cannot veer from the path. Now, the issue with that is that this here might kill the run. I'm going to go the top path and we're going to hope for this not killing the run because it's unknown. 
Uh, what would kill the run is a curse. There are curse events that are the worst events in the game that literally kill your run the moment you run into them. So just never go into that. If that is a cursed event, we are over it. We're dead. Uh, they have the high ground. By the way, water links now cost 90. So there's that, I guess. Let's continue setting everything up and waiting for opponents to arrive. Here we go and instantly make a hero out of this because I don't see us surviving here. Uh, if not, actually instantly level this guy up because why not? And let's go with the second one even. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna not lose anybody. Although I don't believe it. I think we're gonna lose somebody. Oh, lightning this guy. Maybe. Nice. The, that guy tanks, so we survive. Very nice. Uh, I could have I could have saved it with a lightning, but it's okay. Okay, this guy's definitely gonna survive from a normal skeleton. Let's be serious about that. Very nice. I could have a second hero, which I forgot to do, but it's okay. We're just waiting for us to get complete control of this map. Okay, these guys are just pushing you in, but the way we're laying out our layout, it, it doesn't matter because I'm going from back to forth. The, these guys just push your elemental to the very back, but it, it really is irrelevant if you set it up like I do, like a little wall maneuver. Continue making money out of this. Okay, the next money is going to go here. This is going to evolve in a second. I would also like to get ether links are cheaper. These guys, ether links are cheaper. That would really help. I'm gonna now start, you know, setting up all of these plants. Uh, let's also level up this guy. Actually, this wave is pretty hardish. Is it? I'm not sure. This this wave is hard though. Here we go. Come on, set up this guy and level this guy instantly. You see, the instant level is important. Wait, did I just lose something there? I don't think I lost something. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. Nope, that was a mistake. I guess we're gonna sell this. Mistakes are mistakes. What can you do? Take the armor away. Now it starts... Oh, we won already. Easy enough. That's my layout, by the way. A bunch of money, and then we just swarm extremely fast. Especially now that I also have the Earth Elemental. Chilled enemies have a 10% chance to freeze. Freezes, they don't even move. Unable to move. Elemental summoning spells cool on faster. I'm gonna go with this. Being able to summon faster is extremely important, especially early game where you just want to set up your uh, pets. Ooh, Oak's Gift. Nice. I never had this. I don't know what this event is. It's not the curse. I'm okay with it. As long as it's not the curse... I'm okay with it. The curse just kills you, like, instantly. <laughs> it, it, it's things like... Um, opponents become immune to an element every 15 seconds. Uh, for 15 seconds. Uh, like, and, and it might roll water. And you can just die because of that very fact. That it happened to roll water. So, it, it's a bit insane on how bad that is. <laughs> or lose uh, half your money and make the game harder for the rest of the run. That, that's, that's the alternative, by the way. Because, okay, let's be serious. There are alternatives than taking the curse, but you lose the game anyway. Okay, we got our first enemy here. Uh, let's try to drain his things away. I think that's my, my play here. Let's also level up. Instantly drained his shield. Very nice. Uh, let's level us up. Okay. Wait, that thing took the shield from the other lane? I was not aware that's a thing. Wait, if that's a thing, that's really good. What? Can I see this? I I thought it was specifically... Well, it is what it is now. It doesn't really matter. We're making money. We're getting water attacked. Okay, we got wolves all over the place. I mean, theoretically, wolves shouldn't really be able to do anything here. Uh, let's put that here so we can maybe tank. Okay, we survived. Very nice. We're gonna continue putting our double units. Let's also set up the plants in front. Okay, opponents just happen to attack the correct lanes, at least for us. Hit the lightning there. Nice. Uh, wait, I need to recall this, summon this. And yeah, this is not gonna really survive, so who cares. Continue putting plants up in front. We're taking away shields and whatnot. Love it. Easy win. Easy win. We have a really good layout. I'm just waiting for the level 3 on the water elemental and then we should be winning. Hopefully, that is. Whoa, boom. At this point, I'm even thinking about the vigorate was a correct idea. <laughs> I should have picked up when I could. 10% damage. Let's go. 10% damage. 
Okay, off to the next fight for a spell. And then we'll go even more money and an hour upgrade for free and the shop. Very nice, very nice. We've got a good layout here. Money, I, I don't want spells. Although this is a spell, I don't want spells. I want... Wait a minute. I think spells also give you upgrades, right? Maybe spells is the play. I'm not exactly sure what is the play. Upgrades definitely are the play. Money is maybe the weakest. As uh, you most of the time don't get enough money to uh, get a single relic. Like, a, a relic is worth... 95 to 120 somewhere around there so and the money just gives you double money of the fight so if the fight normally gives you um 20 let's uh yeah if the fight normally gives you like 3d or something the double relic is obviously not gonna cut it the double like, the double money is not gonna cut it yeah i think there should be a win here obviously very nice <clears throat> okay that's an issue now though come on I think the time has come to put out our first uh, shieldy boy. First shieldy boy time. I'm putting it out as front as possible, as there is no real difference as to where I put it. Let's level this thing up. And even made us money before it leveled. Here we go. Eats up our thing, the things of opponents. Is it going to eat up the next thing, or are we going to wait a year? I guess we're going to wait a year. Level this guy up. Even evolve him. Block. Because that seemed like a very bad fight there. I guess you also need to level up. I guess you also need to level up. Everybody needs to level. We got a bunch of energy out of that. Nice. And even more energy out of that. Actually level all of these up to be honest. Although factually speaking I should level up my units. Not my mana guys. Okay very nice. We have, we have. They're running. And they're running. But guess what? Even my normal units are tanky. Because meta progression is a thing. We're gonna go here. Level this up. Here. Yeah, that was a bit of a missed timing. It's okay though. You level up. Uh, you go away. Oh, we won anyway. <laughs> I wanted to throw away the shieldy boy. The shieldy boys in general are just, you know... Uh, last minute defense. You see, I get 3D. So if a reward bonus would be double XP, it would give us another 3D. Double money. Boon of healing. First time I'm seeing this. Heal all elementals in a lane. Fully healing all but the toughest elementals. Or electricity and charged everybody. This is good for bosses, man. Like, this is really good for bosses. Or a uh, mental man mental elemental, which says that has high health with an arm cannon and that shoots metal balls over a short range dealing physical damage with a 40% chance to sunder deals 50% extra damage from I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take the metal elemental so this was spells so spells do actually give you level up so this here by the way is what kills the one major mutation if you get this you're dead Rhine of attunement I don't even know what this is what did I just get oh gifts solve no rest no this great orcs blah 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 and let's see what I want to get so a volley, razor sharp, leaf strikes enemies, dealing physical damage, inflicting weakness. One times two, so this is just a two-liner, very weak. Weakness is reduced damage dealt, whatever. Oak rush, great oak rushes down the lane, pushing enemies aside, deals physical damage and inflicts marked one. 110 mana. Wild strikes, great oak performs a fury strike, deals physical damage, inflicts weakness two. 480. Oh, this is you kill something instantly. I take this. Weakness 2, reduce damage dealt. I'm gonna take this. 480 damage. This, this is gonna kill the boss, by the way. This, this, we're gonna use it. And this is, as I said, now the game is harder forever. The difficulty rating going up. That is uh, that is why you don't want to go to events. So now we got this super spell that just slashes something into oblivion for 40 mana, instant death. 400 and something damage. That was actually a really good event. It was a really good and powerful event that will most likely help us. I must make sure that I find the level 3 upgrade of my water elementals. The frost elementals that shoot like a piercing bolt that even freeze opponents. That's really, really important to get as early as possible. And also leveling up the ether links to evolve faster and also uh, be cheaper. Actually, be cheaper is not. Yeah, be cheaper. Cheaper and evolve faster. That's the, the double upgrade that it gets. Yeah, level this thing up, please. Actually, just just put an element. Actually, is this gonna kill? Whoa, awesome. And it has a decent cooldown. I'm waiting for this and this. Oh no, I misclicked. Well, it is what it is. Bye-bye. That spell is busted. <laughs> that spell is completely busted. We just made that guy a hero, which is useless, by the way, because all my hero upgrades are for damage. But still, this was an extremely 
here. You're gonna have more damage. I don't know. I'm waiting for mana to arrive. I think this guy needs to level up while I put up a second one in front of it. We're gonna slowly start setting everything up. Uh oh. Uh oh. What is this armada, man? Are you serious right now? Okay, we get rid of the one super archer at least. Uh, I guess we're lightning this so we get rid of it. Uh, we're losing units up and left and right. Oh, we got a money goblin. Let's go. Da -da we just got a lot of money out of that. Uh, lightning here. The money, uh, money goblin in general is very hard to kill. Da -da Come on. Evaded. Yes, I got it. That's a lot of money right there. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, let's sell this. Set that up again the way I had it. Because I have an issue with where things are placed. Because there is no reason for that. But I still have it. Final wave. Okay. Final wave is, is important to know. Because that means I can just straight up be like. Instant death. And I'm not afraid. I'm not terrified. Let's level these things up. So we start draining some things. Easy enough. I do know that I have this for shielding, but eh, whatever. It doesn't matter at this point. We won. Da -da Man, this spell is awesome. The first time I'm getting such a busted spell. Instant kill, whatever it hits, 480 damage. It's gonna help us extremely a lot for the bosses. Like, it's it's unbelievable how useful that is. It does 480 damage, and you have to realize that my uh, towers do 12. Okay? My towers do 12, and that is 480. I'm seeing damage on the elites. On the champion, or the hero, or whatever we want to call him. And into the top upgrade, very nice. And then into a shop with uh, 500 coins. That's going to be really good. Really good. We're setting up a really good one right now. The best event that exists is a campfire event. It reduces the difficulty by two. I don't know what exactly the difficulty increase does. Like, uh, I guess the values. I don't exactly know the numbers. What is supposed to be what. How much is a lot. How much is a little. But uh fact of the matter is you definitely want to... Um, invest into uh, want to invest into as many relics as possible and you want to make the game as easy as possible uh oh that's a very bad uh, elite let's get rid of it let's just instantly get rid of that thing uh, I would like to make you a hero so we don't have to be afraid about that guy start leveling these things up slowly so we can start getting rid of armor here we go very nice which, by the way, also gives us energy, so these guys pay for themselves. We'll set up as many random... Oh, of course, that was an unlucky roll there. Send that guy off to the sunset. <laughs> this spell is extremely good. Uh, you unlucky boy, you just went into the lane that has a drain. So bye-bye shield for you. Level him up. Make him a hero. Smack him, actually, to oblivion. He was an explode on death, it seems. Very nice. Now we're gonna just start laying out our second line of defenders. And also my line of uh, rainers here in the front line. Because these are still... This is still money gaining. So it's not like we lose anything. If anything, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to have something useless in front of your other units. What is incoming? Let's get rid of the hero. The elite or whatever. Put an attacker down here. Most of the waves are pretty much dealt with. Yeah, you can do whatever. Now we're gonna have an attacker in front. Start leveling these guys up. 42 for the level up. This is so cheap, man. I want the plants to become cheaper and level up for cheaper. Pretty much my uh, thing that we need to fix now. Oh no, we lost a unit. Who cares, really? Here we go. Plant, eat him up. Eat him up, boys. Eat him up. Uh, yep, very easy to handle. And we won. We're, are we in the last wave? I think this is the last wave. Let's level everything up. As these level up instantly. The fact that they level up instantly, obviously, is extremely good and useful. Hey, look, it's elites. It's a joke. Elites are a joke. We stole something away from them for energy. Continue spawning even more water, guys. Level up my thingies. 
We took away the bow. That's a thing. Nice. Taking away the bow is insane. Literally makes useless. The archer useless. 20 coins. 32 coins on average. Pawn spawn. This here. When you summon a unit, deal 40 physical damage and inflict mark 3 to the left most enemy. This is extremely powerful. The moment you set something up, boom, they take 40 damage. And marked is 50% more damage taken. So that thing is 150% more damage taken. I don't know what Shrine of Attunement is. But not only... This is going to make the game harder. And we're going to also go to Training Shop, which is so that your hero units become better. But we want to get a Relic Shop because I want to make my units themselves better. Ice Elemental is here. Yes. Launches... It will from front elemental launches the shard of ice that pierces enemies, dealing water damage and in freezing, freeze uh, one in place, unable to move. All healing is increased. Wet and shield status effects slow even more. Zap the upgrade. How do you really using zap? Um, I'm gonna say wet and shield are even slower, and we roll. Here we go. Snow elemental evolves from frost elemental. That's the other version of that upgrade. So it says, lobs a large snowball that deals water damage and flicks chill to all enemies in a small area. Deals bonus damage to armor. Uh, 2.5 times bonus damage. Each time a wisp collects energy, it shoots a projectile. We take this guaranteed. Re-evolution when earth type elemental evolves full heal. 25% chance to gain 50 bonus energy at the start of each wave. Do I want this? This costs 120, man. Do I want this? Do I want lobbing snowballs that chill opponents i mean i guess i could set up three of these in the middle and then everything else like every single other thing is uh piercing will i ever do that i think i can just go with infinite piercing i don't think i need this damage inflict chill enemies small area deals bonus damage to armor this 20 damage is this a three second cooldown or is this a three second attack speed I think I want to keep my money, man. Let's keep the money because we will go to another shop that definitely has more relics. I'm going to just stick to one evolution. We don't need to go to evolution lines. It still has its benefits. I do get that, but we don't want to go that. Obviously, we're going to go with triple buff. We're going to have the very back line be piercing shots, the middle, the second line be frost shots, and the first, the very first line be uh, slowing shots. So we have literally all the debuffs on everybody. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. And now we also have the thing that says that wisps and you know what is it called now we also have the thing that says uh wisps um no, we're getting just scythe over here a bit unlike on our end but it's okay setting up things by the way we have crazy cooldown he did his scythe throw boom and send him boom he got stunned does it matter that he got stunned not really as you see we're sending off like mini projectiles all the time that is the that is the power of Whenever I pick something up, it does something. Start leveling these guys up. Let's actually level all of these up while the time is frozen. And what is this? An elite? Doof doof. A dead elite is what it actually is. Where is the scythe? Second line. Defend this. Scythe incoming. You get stunned. Level all of these up, as I said. The very, very front line is going to be random uh, plants. Not plants. What are these guys called? Water elementals. Let's level up the second line too. Whoops, Scythe is here. Let's level up the second line. Boss is in phase two. Reaper engaged. Uh, that guy just got cursed. We're gonna delete him because he doesn't exist for us anymore. If you don't delete them, the opponent's gonna take control of that. And uh, you're gonna get an enemy in your way for no reason whatsoever. So definitely don't deal with that for no reason. I'm literally leveling up everybody in my team. Uh, this Reaper here is uh, is the curse, whatever. Bye-bye. Oof. Champion. We don't deal with champions. Uh, some stupid guy is throwing fireworks in my village. And uh, I'm calling them stupid because it's borderline giving hard attacks to all the dogs in existence. Let's attack the boss. Oof. And uh, now I'm going to start setting up these things in the very front line. Do I need to do that? I don't need to do that, but I can. So I will. And these things also level up in the first place, so... We're doing a lot of damage too, by the way. Not sure if that's visible. And these things evolve very fast. Let's attack. Boom, boom. Go here, take this away. Put up another one of these. Make him a DPS turret. Uh, let's smack him. Boom, boom. Oh, we got stunned. The whole map got stunned. Oh, this guy got poisoned. We got to remove him. 
and level this thing up. What was this? Why is this here? I guess we got poisoned at another point that I didn't realize. Hey, champion. Bye, champion. I don't want to deal with the uh, stupid overpower stuff. And start attacking the boss. As you see, we're doing crazy damage to the boss every time I do the spawn thing. The spell thing. Hey, you cursed this guy. Bye-bye, this guy. Replace. Lightning. Attack. <laughs> Whoa, the scythe isn't coming. I mean, my backline got destroyed, but it's okay. We won. Easy enough because of the spell, by the way. It's not visible. Obviously, the map is full on controlled over with everything we have and piercing and whatnot. But I'm telling you, the carrying is the 460 damage. It's not elemental and aqual. They invigorate. You know what I want? I know what I want. I want better mana gain, I would say. So invigorate sounds good, but I don't really need it. I'm good. I have control of over all the map. All the yeah, I have control over all the map. So I would say. I'm gonna reroll this into this. Exactly, this is what I wanted. So, uses two flower buds, doesn't matter. This one part matters. Plus 60 mana gain. And now, we get an upgrade. Chilled enemies have a chance to freeze. Spells cost less, stun lasts more. No, we want a specific thing. Burning targets have a chance to spread burning. I don't have burning in the deck, so I don't know why this is a thing. Wisp moves faster. Uh, this is actually good. This increase your economy. Let's go with increased economy. Let's go with Wisp is faster. Because it runs around picking up everything faster, especially when you set up, you know, a million things. Is that going to be a double level? Nope. We've got another 10% damage on the heroes. What is this? The best defense. The best defense. That's something I never ever had. Circle dance. This is also something I'm not aware of what it is. Uh, but I want to avoid events, as I said. So we're going to go bottom path. Uh, I mean, this is upgrade. That means a relic. And this is not upgrade. That means also relic. So we're going this path, and then we're going to be forced into this event, one of these two, but it's okay. This is the final boss. Anyway. No, this is not the final boss. There are, there are four bosses in this game, just to be clear. So this run's going to be one and a half hours or something. And now people realize that the video is long. If you got to this point, don't forget to drop a like. It helps out the channel immensely. And if you want to subscribe to see more, that would also be fun. But that's on you. Like, the, the like is forced, the other one is on you. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Nothing is forced for anybody. Okay, yeah, let's start spreading these out. Now that we have the 50 damage shot, we definitely want to spread these out as much as possible. In general, you don't want to... Do you see this? Do you see how fast we kill something just by setting up a thing? Boom. They just got marked. And now again. Water elemental. Boom. Got marked again. And now he takes like who knows how much damage. Boom. I see the elite. Bye bye elite. <laughs> busted, man. I'm telling you, completely busted. Let's continue setting all of these up. Money is my money is my motto. My my show here we go 70. I really want to get Etherlinks evolve and uh, level up faster so that I press the button and it instantly is like boop. I'm evolved. I have evolved. These are the money gathering version of that of that. So normally these give you 3D. With that they give you 90. So, and they cost 70 to evolve. So they pay off almost instantly. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, what? We got an issue. Lightning? Nope, we got an issue. Got an actual issue. Hit him. Hit him. Come on. Yes. No, I didn't get the money. Come on. Got him. Very nice. This guy's spreading skeletons, by the way, which is very bad. This needs to go away. Uh, the fight has become extremely dangerous. Let's go with Shieldy Boy here. Because I have lost control over everything. Lightning this guy. Destroy this guy. Uh, we lost the thing. Nice, we survived there. Uh, excuse me, but what is this? What is even happening all over the map? Lightning that thing. We need to just get as many units as fast as possible. And at this point we got back control of the map. So uh, now we go for the other half of the plan. Which is... The front line. Actually, the back line should level up. Okay. We are gonna have the front line stealer, boy. Uh, are these all elites? Spiteful, spiteful. And this is also spiteful. Oh, spiteful means they become scythes. Aha. Uh -huh. That's not really good for us. But it's also not the end of the world, to be honest. Destroy this. I don't want to deal with it. Let's go here. Okay, that's also dealt with. Uh, let's go here. Let's make... No, that that, that was wrong. <laughs> I literally prefer throwing them away. Okay, infinite money gain. 
Okay. Level these guys up to the next level. Are we gonna do it in time? I'm not sure. What is even happening? Yeah, actually, what is happening? Let's punch that. It doesn't explode on death. Let's lightning here. Let's set up some random units. At the end of the day, we are controlling everything still. So there is no real issue. What are you guys doing? Tough, tough. Continue with the uh, drainy boys. Maybe I shouldn't even put up... You know, maybe I should throw away the whole idea of... Uh, what is it called? The whole idea of draining the enemy's armor and bullets. Maybe that's not actually needed. Yeah, I can just spawn an armada. You know what? I think we're going to transition out of the whole idea of we eat the enemy armor. And we're going to go into the idea of we gain money and just level up my icicles. Because we have piercing. When any water type elemental evolves, all allies in the lane gain region 3. Decent, but no. I want ether links are cheaper. Spell cost 10 less. I mean, I'm using spells. Chills enemy. No, we're going to still go for the ether links are cheaper. Marked enemies, electrify targets. And this is the last reroll. It's super not going to get complete trash. Attack, defense, and support spells cool down faster. <laughs> the insta-kill spell cools down faster. That's what I'm reading. Enemies have a 20% chance to break a bone when hitting any earth type in element. Implying injured status. When a water type elemental evolves. Specifically evolves. Specifically evolves. Regen 3. This is 5 health per 5 and remove 1 stack. So that means it heals 15, 10 and 5. So that's uh, 3D healing. This is heal 3D all. I think we're gonna go with the faster spell casting, especially with the insta kill spell we have. Although that isn't economy, obviously. I tried to go for economy. Which is useless in comparison to damage. Okay, we're going first into on attack. Give one over to the rightmost ally. That's good. We have a fast attack. We have in general fast attack units anyway. Let's go to shop with 427. Come on, give me ether links are cheaper. Start with 20 less energy, but 100 at wave 2. Nope. Uh, all healing is increased. I mean, this includes HP region, I would assume. Uh, once again, the chill arbor. We roll this, throw this away. Ether traps. Still the aqua elemental, which invigorates. Invigorates. 25% attack speed, 25% damage. This is adjacent. Does that mean touching? When an etherling is defeated, it will explode for 40 damage nearby enemies. Start with 200, but you no longer gain periodic energy. Extremely bad. When earth and temple elemental evolves, it's returned to full health. Earth type elementals evolve 5 seconds slower and evolve cost 10% more. This is also very bad. Man, these are so bad. Uh, I would say we buy this and we roll. Okay, here we go. Each time the wish collects energy, it buffs all adjacent ele and elementals to deal harm and extra damage on the next attack. Aether slap. Slaps the enemy, dealing shatter and true damage, and then pushes them across two lanes. What? No, I don't want to push. Wet shield and freeze status effect has an 80% less likely to remove burning. I'm not applying burning. Burn lasts longer. I'm still not applying burning. Let's get the wisp gives damage. Exactly the amount of money I have. No, I'm obviously not going to go up. <laughs> this is death sentence. We go down. Shrine of heroes. This is death sentence. I'm telling you. Uh, let's play the game. I literally, you lose the game when you go there. Okay, so now I guess I need to lay out my units a bit different. I mean, I'm going to still keep the thing as it is. Backline, frontline. Like here and here and then like this. It's going to literally be the same layout, but a bit different. I'm going to have this line be attackers, and then this be plants, and then this attackers again. We're just going to switch these two lanes. Now, there is an even better max, which is attackers, heal, attack, heal, attack. But uh, I don't think it's worth it. You're dead. Oh, my machine there. As I said, uh, I would say let's completely and utterly forget the idea of going for the um, Steel's armor boys. Let's full on transition. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You need to get deleted. Uh, why are they so buffed in movement speed? Okay. Time to make a hero. You need a hero. Da -na 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 -na. I'm making money out of this. Let's level these things up. Now isn't a good chance. Yep, this is obviously easy. Slow down the wave as much as possible. Don't tell me next wave is here already. Next wave is here already. Let's load this guy up. By the way, when you make somebody a hero, it counts as spawning something. You need to die. Boop, boop. Opponents are attacking us. That is a thing now. Oh, you know what? I can have the Drainer in this line. The Drainer has how much range? I need to see the range of the Drainer, boys. The eater, the eating food, boys. 
Although, if I want to be actual honest, I don't care. I can just put water everywhere, man. Yeah, I don't care about the draining. Just, just put water literally everywhere. And uh, just, just win. And start evolving some things. Uh, where should the Invigorate be? I guess one Invigorate should be here and one should be here. And yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, Invigorate has become a lot worse very quickly. <laughs> In my mind. That is. Uh, let's get rid of some units. You don't need to exist. Or existence is not needed. Uh, let's put a stone at the very, very front here. So we don't have to deal with anything. Start leveling these guys up. We have so much money at this point. Yeah, you see? Look at how much money we're making extremely fast. That's why I told you we don't need the other idea anymore. Uh, I guess I can have an invigorate here. And... Oh, it's only next to him. Uh-huh. So you need to create a cross formation for that to be useful. That is not something I was aware of. That makes it a lot worse than what it actually is. Wait, I'm... What? How did I do zero damage there? Attack him. Attack him. Go. Boom, boom. Haha, <laughs> got him. Money rich. And we're going into shop in a moment anyway. Super rich. Yeah, this invigorate is disappointing. So we're never, ever, ever gonna do that again. Go for ice, ice, and ice, and this, and ice, and this, and this, and continue setting things up, and ice, and this. <laughs> we won, right? Nice. This is such a busted layout. The piercing, man, the piercing, the piercing is busted. Invigorate useless. 100 rewards from the goblin. <clears throat> 100 rewards from the goblin. Each time a wish collects energy, adjacent healed. Yes! Although, no, we're gonna take this. Uh, what I actually want is still the ether links are cheaper, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna go up. This is death sentence. Spell. And then bottom half. Start battle. Wait, this is not the final boss yet. No, no, that's not the final boss. So we still have time. Still got time to get what we need. Let's go speed the game up. I'm not sure if it's smarter to instantly start with leveling one up. Like this, like this. I'm not sure if that's like smarter or stupid. If I would guess, I would say it's stupid. You know, so now we got healing. I guess I should actually have the... What are they called? I guess I should have a different lineup. Yeah, from the next one, I will try to remember to have a different lineup. Boom and boom. You're obviously dead. Maushinderu style. Okay, boom. Also gonna die. Oh no, he's removing... Oh, he's just shooting sparks when he's low life or something. Man, I love this. I love that when someone instantly kill, like, do damage. That thing is extremely powerful. Level this up. Boom. Continue spawning things. And also I enjoy the... When I get... Uh, when I get money, it shoots out a projectile. That's also really, really cool. And useful. And powerful. And everything. Oh, we found a new enemy. That enemy in general is pretty dangerous. And it died. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> enemy has died. Nice, let's continue. I mean, I also have the insta-kill spell anyway, so we are in no danger. Hey, look, it's an elite. It was an elite. Now it's dead. Oh my, machine, the roost style. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, time to level everything up. Nice, let's also do this. Maybe I should have gone with when I uh, level up something, we heal everything. Could be helpful. Not that I think that I need it. 78. 78. I like how that's like going around and just giving us money. What is that? Elite? Fire resistance and explosive. Well, it died very far away from everything. And we got my icicle beams with the infinite piercing. So uh, control should be now ours. Start leveling all of these guys up. So we get more money out of it. There is definitely a min-max way of when to level things up. But I don't think it even matters, to be honest. Now that we have the infinite piercing. What is even happening? That's an elite. And there is an elite back there too. Oh no, we lost the unit. Who cares? We just rebuild it. Uh, also, uh, having a lot of units in the map is good for being able to quickly level them up. Uh, quickly spend money is what I meant to say. If you have a lot of units, you quickly can you can quickly spend money easily. Is this the final wave? Yep, that's the final wave. So there is no reason for us to risk. Risking time. <laughs> Full risk time. 
Let's continue just leveling everything up. Level everything up. Now we have two piercing units. And that should be enough for a win. Oh, these guys are really durable here. Would I say if it wasn't for the fact that we won? I mean, I did say it, so... <laughs> we won regardless. I enjoy what we have. I'm gonna switch it up now. We're gonna have second and fourth line be the money. And then the rest. Boon of healing. Healing all elementals in a lane. Fully healing all but the toughest elementals. Wait, why can't we all this? Heal elementals in the lane. Fully healing all but the toughest. 200 health. Heals the whole line. Ether and water. Ether and ether. Shield all elementals in the lane with a powerful invulnerability shield. There's all elementals in the lane block. I think we're gonna go with double this. This seems better. <laughs> Just make everything immune. Seems better. I have healing anyway. Yeah, we're gonna go with make everything immune. But why was I forced into that? I don't know why I was forced. Anyway, we've got another transformation, so now I have three heroes. Okay, we're gonna roll this into damage as always. No. There we go, times some damage. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna be forced into the bottom half, obviously. Shrine of Heroes, Deadly Battle, and then Training Shop instead of minor mutation this here just to be clear what it does it gives you a debuff for the rest of the game the debuff might be something like enemies are immune to fire water or lightning in rotation every 15 seconds for 15 seconds this kills around the spot it might give you uh, opponents uh, uh, switch lanes all the time or it might make it so that portals appear and they uh, jump through your units like it's extremely dangerous and if you don't want to get the curse then you have to pay money and it increases the difficulty if you do that so it's it's just an extremely bad event we're gonna go shrine of heroes which also is gonna increase the difficulty by the way Okay, so give adjacent allies 50 armor every 40 seconds. That's a hero buff, by the way. Deal 20% more damage to elites and champions. Gain one coin when dealing the killing bro. Ooh, this would be really good if I could have had it early game. But this here, give 50 uh, adjacent allies 50 armor. If I have my heroes in the third line, it's going to give a lot of armor to front and back. And then the very, very back line is going to be exposed. But if I... I mean, the way I have it right now, the way I'm playing right now, I can have the with the same layout. If my whole middle line, my whole second line is defended, then I'm going to have permanent defense on all my... Um, you know what? I think we're going to go with money, to be honest. I do enjoy money as an idea. Let's go with money. All my heroes now give us money. We're about to go into training shop. I'm going to make the best out of that right now. Uh, because I think we do already have enough healing in the back line, right? And I also don't want to have a specific layout in a specific way and whatnot. So, as I said, we're going to transition over to a different build now. Let's go. Let's go here, boom. Okay, next opponent, please. I guess first opponent. Make this guy here as fast as possible. It's going to give us money. Make this also hero. That's gonna give us money! <laughs> and make a hero here too. Come on. That's gonna make us money. <laughs> uh, and that's gonna just die. We're not gonna deal with something we can't deal with. Let's set some things up. Okay, it's a 50-50 if whoever gets the kill. Uh, any of these? Nope. Let's assassinate the second one. Put that here too, so we maybe get the kills. Put that here too, so he gets the 150% more damage taken. Maybe we're gonna get him in time. We did get him in time, very nice. Let's not forget that my units heal and get damage boost. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what do these guys have? Spiteful and regenerative, both of them. Kill the soldier. Kill the soldier. The soldier boy. Uh, let's go here. What is this? Venge vengeful? How many vengefuls? We're gonna have to deal with old main lightning here. Let's go with another plant. Go with that. What is this? Electricity? Nope. Get deleted. What is this? Nothing. That guy's there. When did you get there, man? Let's continue putting up money because I need money. Uh, yeah, in general, getting money is extremely important. The earlier I get it, the better. Nice. And now I just need one more line of defenders in front of these guys. And we are ready to go. Oh, elites. This guy has electric resistance. This guy has regenerative electric resistance. 
Let's get rid of this guy. Put that here. Very nice, you're dead. The moment this guy becomes mad, send him. He's dead already. Oh my, we in the room. Let's go like this. These guys are some... Nope, these guys are frost catchers. Frost catchers are irrelevant to me. What is relevant to me are the um, summoners. There are summoners, there are frost casters. There are, in general, there are a bunch of different enemy leads. Let's get rid of this guy. Instantly. Was that just vengeful again? How many vengeful will I have to fight? Start leveling everything up. Let's go here. Start leveling these things up for more money gain. And at this point is the point where we have one. Level everything up. Final wave. That was a good chance to level everything up. Actually get rid of this. Don't destroy us, please. I mean, yeah, because if I say please, then it's gonna happen. Okay, I saved my units. Uh, top is a bit maddening right now. Somebody is creating shields. Blocking aura. Because that's a thing. <laughs> because that's a thing. Anyway, we have one. Bye bye you. Easy enough, my armada. You see now the now these guys are healers and they're healing behind them, in front of them, and also they're buffing damage. Let's not forget that. I also have a harm percent damage boost every time that happens. So let's go into this. Now here you can either level up your heroes. Ooh, give a Jason Alice 50 armor once every 40 seconds. We found the thing that previously was a choice. Or I can get another hero. And we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with. I would nice to take this, but I can't. And I would even... I'm, a, I'm gonna go as far to say as plus one armor to the rightmost ally. Is this useful? I think I'm gonna keep the money for a shop. I think shop's more important. We're gonna try to force a shop next time. Because we can get like two or three or four relics out of it. I really enjoy that there is no inflation in the money. Like the shops don't become expensive. That would be very bad and stupid in my opinion. Let's fight this boss intruders. The Capitan. And let's go. Please allow us to start setting things up. Almost made a mistake, by the way. Want to set up here. I know exactly where I want to set up. Beat the game up. Magland boss. What is this? This was not a thing the first time I played against this guy. So he's spawning units, just to be clear. And uh, he's uh, he's very dangerous in general, just to be clear, number two. Uh, but we have spells that we can cast. Uh, this is an issue... There is an issue. Don't forget that the rightmost opponent always gets hit. I need to get control of the map first. That's what's going on right now. Uh, I'm gonna say we triple shield. We triple hero right now. The middle, I would say. Yeah, let's triple here. Shield the heroes. But let's not forget that heroes count as new units. That was explode on death. Uh, I try to just set up whatever I can. You know what? Let's speed the game down for a moment. Uh, we need to start making money. I need to start leveling my backline attackers. I will destroy this. Here, go here. Set up more units. Level everything up. Okay. Next thing we need. Ne next thing we need to do is get shielding up and running. Uh, please stop sending so many, man. Uh, not shielding, piercing. Piercing is what I meant to say. So I'm trying to get piercing up and running. On every lane. Nice, piercing is set up. Okay, let's continue setting things up. Make more money out of this. Okay, continue setting things up. And now we slowly will go forward. Slowly we will go forward. Gonna take a while, but it's gonna happen. There are a lot of archers over here. It's gonna happen. We have infinite piercing coming from the back line. We, now we also have attack speed slow. It's happening. It's happening. Now in this fight, the this here, the shield does nothing. Like, boop, he's dead. <laughs> Just to be clear, there is nothing to be done in this one. But that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Let's get more piercy boys. Look at my money, by the way. I'm super rich. And now we just maintain our build. That's it. 
I would just start setting up some defenses, I guess. Machine gun guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. At some point, we're gonna win. He just destroyed my... Let's start attacking the boss. Warlord and... Oh, here he is. I lied. He does actually have a move that we can shield. Yeah, that's it. That's literally the thing you shield from this guy. Why is he setting up some barriers? Like, what is this? I'm telling you, barriers were not a thing back in the day. Oh, this guy survived. Okay. I have three lines of piercers, man. You cannot tell me right now that we're not... Uh, like, are you winning, son? No. <laughs> oh, laser is incoming. Here. Did that count? Yes, it did. Yeeted and deleted everything. The boss is not getting stunned, by the way. That is a thing that definitely is true. He spawned more enemies. It's shield here because the middle is seems to be the most affected. Put another one down. Uh, I need to just spam the my ultimate on the boss. Whoop, laser is incoming. I have 2,500 coins. Uh, he's in this line. So let's block here, I would say. We lost the unit. We build the unit back up. Do I want to put... I think we continue with these elementals. Let's destroy the elite that appeared instantly. Wow, didn't die. Okay, good to know. Trying to set up whatever, man. Let's go... Whoop, laser. Block it here. Boom. Destroyed most of the opponents. And then you're hitting the boss. Now this fight's gonna become a lot harder in a moment. Uh, th this is by far the hardest boss, by the way, because uh, he always spawns the units in front of him. And he also has these two shields, which you did not used to be a thing, man. They just break that shield and it regenerated on the spot. That just happened. He's about to do the laser beam. Please tell me about the laser. Thank you. Okay, let's start setting things up. Danger. Oh, let's block here. I'm gonna set up like icicles in front of those. Because, uh, not icicles. Oh, we lost the unit back here. Destroy him. <laughs> Man, I have to say the summoning thing is insane and powerful. Okay, I think the time has come to start destroying the boss. With, uh, as fast as we can. Because I don't think this is manageable that much. I don't want to manage this. I want to just win and go. Uh, my backline is getting attacked, but it's okay. Wait. I'm gonna go tank here. And you lost. Good day, sir. Bye-bye. Send the tree. Nope, still alive. Still alive, still alive. Send the tree. Send the tree. Come on, man. We won. -na 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 -na. How much money did I make out of the the piercing and money gainers uh, heroes? Ooh, 80. I think 88. I don't know. I'm assuming 88. Okay. We're going to roll this into... I'm not going to get the snow elemental. Uh, cleanse is good, but... Are you serious right now? One more. Water bomb is even worse. Static orb. Summon an orb that lights up a small area. Arc bolts of electricity nearby enemies. Uh, dealing a small amount of electric damage with 50% chance of stun. For 10 seconds. 22, yeah, we're gonna take this. Uh, yes, nice. Yes! Ether type elementals cost and less and evolve faster. Let's go! This is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Perfect. And we got a level. Damage. Always damage. Go through. Didn't get anything. It's okay. Let's go. Oof, we're forced. Spellforge and Tactician. We're forced into the Tactician. I can choose the Spellforge. I think I will get the Spellforge. I think I'm gonna go for it. Let's go this whole middle line. It's gonna make the game harder, as I said, but... Let's see at least what it is, you know. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see events. If we lose at the end, we lose, you know. It is what it is. As I said, the game's gonna become harder and harder the more events I do. I don't know why the game is made in a way where it's supposed to be as challenging as possible. Especially because I'm playing in the easiest mode yet. Can you understand? Can, do you, like, realize I don't have every single meta progression right now? Ooh, that was a mistake. I completely forgot my layout. This, this is the wrong one, by the way. <laughs> Just to be clear. Oof. Let's go here. Here. Make him a hero, obviously. 
Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna say let's go here for now. Let's also make. No, no, he's not gonna become a hero. No, that was also a mistake. Dang it! What are we doing, Sift? Oh no. Oh no. First of all, you have to die. You're gonna go down here and you can become a hero. He has a shield? No. Um, kill the archer, I would say. The archer, the archer also has a shield. No. <laughs> um, okay, so this. No, ho, ho, I misclicked. You imagine if we lose because of misclicks and stupid mistakes like this. Let's make you also a hero. I don't think we're gonna lose because of that. Ooh, evolutions happen instantly. Oh, and they cost 60. You know what? From here on out, I'm gonna start with a double, double level on those right away. Oh yeah, we're gonna become rich super fast. Super rich, super quick. Yeah, yeah they throw out some things that stun, like who cares? Uh, you need to go away. What do you do? Spiteful. Ah, they're spiteful. Okay, gotta love that. Mm, yes, let's not forget that heroes shield each other. So these three are like borderline immune right now. Borderline immunity disorder. Um, yeah, that might be a joke of bad faith, but whatever. Let's go. Let's go. So it got cancelled for no reason. YouTuber. Fam famous, not famous YouTuber Sift got cancelled because he made a mistake. Let's go with level this and let's go with level it again. Let's go with level this and let's go with level it again. Let's go with level this and level it again. Because these are the heroes, by the way, that's why I'm leveling them first. Yeah, opponents are moving around, who cares? We got the insta kill if need be. Now we're gonna start leveling money gain. Okay. Woof. Boom. Oh no. I think Spiteful is the more dangerous one. <laughs> And everything else. And all of these are leveled up now, so we can now level up every backline we have. Hey look, it's an elite. Boom boom. Spiteful. Well, that's gonna get a kill. Most likely. And now we continue spawning things. Level these boys up. Now we have all three debuffs. <laughs> look at this, opponents aren't even moving, literally. We have all three debuffs. We have slow, wet, and freeze. And now we're gonna transition into even more freezes. Make these into lowers. And that's it. Easy enough. Obvious win is obvious. Bye bye, boys. This guy's frozen. Man, they're slowing down, then they're freezing. They're slowing down, and then they're freezing. They, they literally cannot even do anything. Opponents just look like, like slow, 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 boom, frozen. Rip, frozen. This guy is arriving, yeah, but then done. Whoop, bum, bum. Oh, we lost a unit. It's okay. As long as the backline is alive, we don't care. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. Look at our money. We're super rich. Bye bye. Let's go. We we'll start sending spells off. <laughs> Look at this madness. I don't think we're gonna make enough money out of the passive <laughs> that the heroes give us money. Hey, look, it's a boar. It was a boar. Those elites have healing. Bye bye you. Oh man, I love it. Level these guys up. Let's continue. I think E is for evolution. Ah, yeah, but which evolution? Yeah, very nice. Well made game, well made. Hey look, it's an elite. That had region and whatnot. Level everything. I could have invigorators here. This line could have been invigorators. <laughs> Level everything! My power is out of this world! I'm losing damage. I'm, I, I wanna see at the end where it's gonna say like 50,000 level 1s, 50,000 level 3s. It's gonna most likely give me a bunch of XP. Let's go. Nice. Let's see what the score screen is gonna look like. 25 tier 3s. Full house is not achievement I got. Most likely because I ended with a void being full. 57 coins, 106 at the end of the day. Very nice. And now the game's gonna become harder, faster, and faster. <laughs> uh, no, we're gonna go with damage. Nope, we're gonna go with damage. Yes, damage. Let's go. Uh, damage also ties into getting more money. Okay, Spellforge, the last time I tested this out. Yes, I got five more uses of transforming somebody into a hero. This was worth it.
And now the game is instantly at danger level 21, which I don't know what that means. I don't think you can see. Yeah, I'm floating over this and doesn't say anything. It should definitely explain, man. There should be a... If you go over this, it should say, you know, each point gives 2% difficulty, blah, blah, blah. And man, whatever, let's go. Each point gives 10% more life to opponents and whatnot. I, I don't... I really don't know what they do. Maybe it's 1% damage, 1% life, or maybe it's worse. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's everything you ever wanted. I'm gonna go with this path now. I think it's the smart path. This is the wrong spot, by the way. I made the same mistake for the thousandth time. Are these guys gonna give us money? Oh, they don't give you money as fast. That makes them a lot worse. Bye bye you. That makes them like a lot worse. If they don't give money as fast. Because if they don't give money as fast... First of all, I really should not test things like this out here. Let's destroy this. Um, yeah, if they don't give money out as fast... Oh, that's that's really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Uh, I, I need to level up everybody who's supposed to be coming here anyway. This needs to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm spending money for nothingness. I'm spending money for nothing. Uh, I mean, the backline is all gonna become heroes. This guy spawning things is not that bad. You need to go. Okay, we have three more heroes, which I think is going to be the middle line. Don't hit him. <laughs> nice. And now we go on with uh, more Healy boys. Okay, this I'm not gonna do that start again, ever. Go. Because, let's not forget, I spawn something, they get marked three times, that means 150% more damage taken. I send off that thing, they're dead. Oh, destroy him. 600 damage. <laughs> um, I guess it's not 350% uh, more damage taken, otherwise he would have taken 7000 or something. Region aura, region aura. Let's get rid of the mage first. Okay, time to level these things up. Okay, time to level these guys up. A lot of money, very nice. Time to create, continue setting up the front line. Nice. Honestly, I think these guys becoming slower at giving you the money, it's, it's, it's either I'm just thinking things that might not be correct, or they are just straight up worse. Those are like the only alternatives. There is no alternative. They either become worse. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Don't don't spawn. Well, I did spawn. Oh, here we go. Money. Lightning. He's dead. Wow. And just like that, we're super rich now. And time to invest into piercing. Even though this might not be the best time to do this. I'm gonna accept my faith. Faith. Not faith. Faith. I mean, I'm also accepting my faith. <laughs> Which doesn't exist! Anyway, let's continue. Oh no. A YouTuber got cancelled because... He had an opinion. That was the different than the norm. Continue leveling everything up. Continue leveling everything up. Continue leveling everything up. By the way, I have uh, completely random here. I've started watching Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, that weird thing, and honestly, it's it's an anime made as a meme, man. That thing is a meme. That thing is the meme. And also, it's very cringe a lot of times, but it also starts becoming better after a while, because now I'm like in season, I don't know, a million? And I have to actually say it, it has become better. After uh, the initial trashiness. Continue leveling up the piercing dudes. Continue making money out of everything. Do -do -do -do. This build is busted. Do -do -do -do. Boop -boop. Like the early game is always very scuffed, but later it's very, very easy. You get complete control over everything. But in the beginning it's like, we're gonna die. And then we don't. <laughs> Opponents are trying to do something. Opponents are not succeeding in doing whatever they're trying to do. <laughs> I'm playing at times 3 speed, by the way. Hey, look, a bunch of opponents. 
they can't even get through the first line of defenders, which is Ice Boys, by the way. I should have definitely gone for the Ice Evolution Heals Everything. That would have made everything insanely insane. Insanely insane, that's a thing now. Can I level everybody up? I'm still not sure if leveling gives you... As I said, hey look, the guy that actually most of the time doesn't die. Tell me that he doesn't die again. Wow, that guy's the most tanky thing I've ever seen. How is it possible that that thing didn't die? Look at our team! Look at us! Almost got everybody. Al oh, got everybody. I have never done this before. I literally got everything leveled up to the max. 3D1 level 3s, man. More than the rest. <laughs> Love it. 166. Let's go, heroes. Time show. You know what? I want the... Uh, now I want cleanse. Lightning strike might be good, though. This is 5 times 1. That means it goes downward. Uh, you know what? This is a lot of AoE. We're gonna take lightning strike as a lot of AoE. Because that uh, hits everybody for like 80 damage, and then it also electrifies them. That means they each damage each other for even more damage. This is the first time I'm ever seeing this. The tactician. Uh, tactic sidestep. Sidestep into an adjacent lane. Five uses per battle. Five uses per battle, all of these. Advance up to two lanes towards the enemy. Retreat up to three lanes away from the enemy. So we're gonna go with sidestep. All of these are useless, by the way. I'm most likely not going to use them. So the difficulty increased for nothing. Deadly battle, what is this? Corrupted shrine. I'm not going there. I'm not going whatever is corrupted. We're going to go in the middle anyway because of so much money. Old money we have. Let's not make the mistake this time. Second line right away. And also let's not make that mistake of leveling these things up right away. Maybe in the long run they are worth it. But look how fast this thing even got the money instantly. You see, these things activate very quickly. Oh. Well, these guys are going to draw bombs on us. Not that it matters, to be honest. He died from... Uh... Oh no, bombs. That do 15 damage and just mainly make the screen shake. I'm afraid. Okay, uh, make this guy hero. Okay, make this guy hero too. Okay, heroes get kills. Make this guy hero too. Is that a... Bye bye. He's dead, that's what he is. Don't kill. Didn't kill, very nice. Uh, hero here. Bombs are popping, but does it matter? I don't think so. Let's make the triple... You know what? No, yeah, the triple middle is gonna become heroes. <laughs> Okay. And at this point. At this point we oh that was a mistake. And now start leveling things up while also playing more. Yeah, a bunch of bombs, whatever. As long as I'm gathering materials for healing anyway. Like imagine these bomb bats being a permanent thing all the time, every time. No 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 no, you're not gonna set up a million burning grounds. Or I guess you are. Start leveling back the, the heroes up. Dun, 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 dun. Start leveling up the money. And start winning, boys! And start winning. Money. Ooh, 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 what's happening in the middle, man? This game's crazy. Let's destroy this guy. Let's not allow the front that guy to fire. Well, that's not a thing. <laughs> that is not a thing. Not allowing that guy to fire is literally impossible. Uh, some of these have explosive, explosive. Some of them just give people shielding. Explosive. This guy is blocking aura. Blocking aura is the hardest one to uh, counter. It's uh, the dev already said like it's the most dangerous one. Imagine giving block to the boss. You see, it's it's just crazy how easily you can lose because of that. Okay, level these guys up. Yep, very nice. And now a nice line of defense. Up, I leveled up the wrong unit. Obviously, I want to level up the hero. By the way, let's not forget, every 40 seconds, my hero give 50 armor to every adjacent unit. So it's just mad lad city all around. What is this? What is that thing? 
Electric resistance and vengeful. Okay. Seems like everybody gets the same uh, buff. Like every elite or whatever appears seems to be getting the same buff all the time. Continue. Nope, no, no, don't level that guy up. We have 300 coins, level all of these up. One more. Man, these guys look like uh, metabots. These not. These neither. Like this, this looks like maybe a Digimon because this, this is a baby Digimon. This is a normal Digimon, and then this is a Metabot, <laughs> which, by the way, it just so happens to be what happened recently. I think I saw a video that was saying that um, Metabots with Digimon do some um, April Fools events or something. That's like a thing that has been happening for the last three years or something. Uh, you can go and look it up. That's uh, some info I was not aware of is happening, and pretty much you're most likely also were not aware of. If you hear this for the first time for me. No, let's go here. Hey, look, opponents are trying to do something. You know what? Let's set up some shieldy boys in the front line. Because why not? Oh, you know what? Let's actually test these things out. Electric orb. Oh, this just strikes everybody in that line. Everybody hit the floor. Everybody hit the... What are you doing? What are you doing? This guy's still alive. I'm not gonna allow you to send skeletons. I'm not gonna allow you to trash my thing. Look at this armada, man. The armada of power. We are busted. Busted. 77 coins. Danger bonus 23. What is this? Out of with splash. When any water type elemental is destroyed, surrounding elementals are healed by 20. Oh, that's actually decent. I'm gonna... Take the decent. Earth elements are cheaper and evolve faster. No, no, no. We're gonna get the ice is better. Ice on death heals. Going out with a splash. Now look at this. Corrupted shrine top. Major mutation bottom. <laughs> uh, this is straight up. Don't go there. We're gonna go into obviously relic and obviously shop with seven hundred plus coins. Why would I ever go the other two paths? Like this. I think the game has some issues with pathing. There is no... Sometimes you straight up don't want to go into specific paths. And if you don't have the thing that showcases where the events are, what the events are, you should never ever take events. As you saw, half the events are death sentence. I know I didn't showcase it. I know I know that you didn't see. I'm just... It's just my word against whatever. But... I mean, I don't enjoy saying trust me, but on, on this one, I would say really trust me. That game is really bad with the other ones. Boop, here we go. Boom be able to get this come on boom dun, 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 dun. are you serious right now boom dun, 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 dun. should be possible especially with healing right last but not least dun, 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 dun. okay you're 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 not gonna exist you can forget existing and he didn't even do the venger nice he didn't do his passive venger fold didn't open up Okay, let's continue with heroes. I need a hero. Let's go triple hero in the middle because they give armor to everybody. Okay, boom. Oh no. Oh no. He survived. Well, he took the shot. Oh, another one appeared. Very nice. Send him. Send him! Nope, he's still going. He's still going strong! And another lead appeared. What is this thing? Explosive. And Vengeful. Vengeful is not fun for us. Boom, boom! 600 damage and still survived, man. That thing is insanely powerful. Boom, boom! Still alive. Time to buy some upgrades. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are, you know, a lot of you are just watching up there and seeing what I could have upgraded, what I'm sleeping on, whatever, whatever. And uh, I do agree that I'm not, you know, if that's your opinion, I do agree that I'm not super duper duper maxing. But that's because at this point we have borderline one. Of course, that is definitely not how you should play any game ever. Oh, I'm winning, so I should not actually care about winning. Yeah, that's how you lose. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, right now we are actually extremely good. Let's go here and here and here. Very nice. Let's continue spawning things. I would say let's start leveling up the back line. Come on. Boom, boom. Still alive. 
Don't fire. Yes, it happened. It happened. Man, this spell is busted. Wild Strikes is carrying us. Like, Wild Strike is the most powerful thing I've ever seen. And I tell you, I played this game for about 10 hours now. So, definitely a very extremely powerful spell. This is busted, man. Just, just remove an enemy from the void. Let's continue spawning things. Let's continue spawning things. Let's continue spawning things. On this end, boom, boom. Spawn everything, level everything up. We are super rich. I mean, leveling is what costs the most money by far. Let's level up the triple here in the middle. Okay, elites with a curse. Well, we can no longer set up things over there. It is what it is. We can no longer set things everywhere, anywhere, actually. Oh no, do I have cleanse? No, I don't have cleanse. <laughs> I thought I didn't get cleanse. That's actually really bad because if uh, now one of my boss, my, one of my units gets poisoned or something, I'm not going to be able to cleanse it away. Not having cleanse, that is. Uh, I'm going to try to not level anything else up now because I want my shieldy boys back line. I will I level this line up. I will not level anything else up. I want my shieldy boys. Like, we're going to have triple lines here. You go here and level up like this. Triple lines. Like, we're going to have one line of triple... Uh, two lines of... Two lines of uh, level threes. Two lines of level twos. Two lines of level ones. And then every line in front is going to have a stone formation. And we also have the healer slash damage boosters there. That was a mistake. Dun 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 dun. Let's let's do this. Boom! What? I thought that was better than what it was. Very disappointing. Lightning orb. The lightning orb is three by three, by the way. So I didn't set it up in a correct position. But that doesn't matter now, does it? I don't think it does. Set up another one of these. Boom boom. Yeah, these also do damage, so. Lightning Orb, Z, 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 Z. It's going to be really helpful with the boss, by the way. All the spells are boss targeted because in the boss stages is when you have like 7,000 coins and uh, energy and you don't know what to do with it. Okay, stun status lasts one longer. Who cares? If type is cheaper and uh, evolves instantly pretty much. Do I want this? I don't think I need this. Like even for the boss, it's not really needed. I want some better things if I can. Electrified targets have a chance to strike lightning on themselves. Spell trick. Oh. When ether type elemental evolves, it instantly gives you 25 coins. This. This is gonna boost the early game in a, in a way where we're gonna get carried through this. 10% damage. <laughs> I don't even need to look at the rest. How much coins did I get out of that? 880. Let's go win. Let's go win. Sail static orb. So, sail means that uh, normally this would cost 250 because it's a rare version. So, the rare versions in this game are always something specific that does something specific. 25% chance to do an extra static bolt that deals true damage. That's it? I wouldn't say it's important. Wet shield and freeze status affect less chance to remove burning. I guess I could take both of these. The Great Oak creates three vine traps which trap the first enemies that walk on them for 15 seconds. Let's buy both of these. Let's also buy this. Reroll. This, by the way, just to be clear, attack spell, uh, you get one spell power, and this increases the damage by 1%. Zap. Unleash a dangerous spark from the target when fired, or when any water evolves, heal. Yes. And I would even say, as far uh, we're gonna go with zap electricity, roll these. Lightning strikes rare. This says, calls an additional lightning strikes, followed by a large final strike that deals true damage. Or... Chilled enemies have a 10% chance to freeze. Or, when a needling is defeated, explode for 40. I would, from all of these, I would like to get this. Let's get the rare lightning strike, whatever. I can't buy any of these. Let's go on with 96. I'm not gonna roll. Oh, no, no, this is gonna deadly battle that also has a mutator. Portal bats spawn the battlefield. Yo, this is a curse. We found a curse. Maybe there was another curse previously that I missed. But this here is a curse, and I, I want you now to see what this does and how not fun it is and imagine having that permanently all the time like imagine having what you're about to see all the time every time in every single fight uh let's start setting things up so if i level this up it's gonna give me money yeah so i think now it is worth it to instant double level i'm gonna go with one level and then two summons i think that's the play okay that happened so now i can see the difference in speed i guess 
Nice, didn't kill. Okay, the speed and difference is pretty sizable. And there is a portal here. That's not gonna matter for us. Here into this, very nice. I need to continue summoning money now. I mean, at this point, I'm doing extremely a lot of damage from here with heroes. Uh, okay, you need to not survive. You need to level. <laughs> Okay, let's put that down. This here. We can damage the bats with a uh, summoning thing, but it doesn't matter, honestly. Go here, summon our hero, summon our one of these. Level these things up. Let's not forget they give us money on spawn, on level. So every time I do this, I gain 25 coins. So this only costs 35, which is insane. Completely insane. Or as Grappler says, Insenato. Instantly everything leveled up. Oh no. Oh no. Spawn this. No, the bat. What do you do, by the way? Blighted and regenerative. Go, go, go. Sp send the spell. Okay. You know what? I could also do this. Is it gonna hit him? I don't think it hit him. Whatever. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you running? Why are you running? Go here, level these up. I'm super duper rich, actually. Level all of these up. Uh, blighted. Let's level all of these up. Let's not forget every time I do a crazy, crazy level. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lighting these boys. Light them up. Light them up. Thank you. Okay, now obviously the bats don't do anything right now. <laughs> obviously the bats are a joke. But uh, at, because of how the bats function, I'm pretty much not allowed to... Like right now, if a single opponent touches this portal, I, I, I mean, now it doesn't matter, but in general, if, if an opponent touches a portal, it's going to start blinking through. And uh, then uh, it instantly gets into my backline. So that's what the bats mainly do. Of course, for us, it doesn't really matter as I'm like slowing and freezing and just keeping everybody in a spot. But for example, if this guy was, he, he would pierce through if he was on the bottom lane. Not that it matters, as I said. The way we're playing it really doesn't matter. Because we're busted, first of all, and secondly, we have freeze. And freeze means you don't move. And if you don't move, it doesn't matter if you're five or six or ten steps ahead because you're dead. Because you're frozen in place. Let's continue spawning everything. Now, I do know I said that. Imagine having... Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. I, 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 I still keep that. Imagine having this modifier now with the bats in every single fight for the rest of the run. If you make the mistake of actually accepting the devil's deal. Right? Uh, not accepting, but straight up going there. Like, just, just don't go there. It leads lightning. Let's go with this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the lightnings continue. How long does this last? That's an awesome spell. Go with a little lightning shocker. Uh, let's start leveling these guys up too, because why not have freeze everywhere when you can have freeze everywhere? Level these guys up too. I really enjoy that we're getting the healing on everything. Look at these, a million numbers are appearing all over the place. Opponents aren't even moving, man. Opponents aren't even moving. Now, I could make even more money out of the fact that I would gain more money. Uh, if I... If I only allowed the heroes to be leveled, but that doesn't really matter. We have so much healing here. This is insane. Oh, we lost a unit down here. Oh, no. Is this guy gonna die? With a whole line of attackers? I wanna really see, man. Do you see this? This is unbelievable that that thing, it's gonna fire twice, man. I know it's an elite. I know it's an elite. Obviously, I know it's an elite. I'm not blind. But what I'm trying to say is like, it's it's insane how busted that thing is. The, how how not destroyable it is. Maybe if I was a fire build, 31 and tier 3s, let's go. Let's go. And I'm super rich, but that doesn't matter because we're about to go to boss. Okay, this is the final spell. We're gonna get a super spell, not a trash one. Okay, I want the remove debuffs. You're not serious right now. Water spot, time again, give me the same. Ha ha! I, I made the game do what I want. 
Uh, deal 3D burning damage, inflict burning 2. If the target is burning, deal 3D extra damage. If the target is burning, deal 50 fire damage and inflict burning 3 to all enemies in a small area. Well, this is useless. <laughs> uh, rock wall, create a defensive rock wall. I'm gonna go with this. Actually, I'm gonna go with time shift. Rewind time on enemies, sending them back to the time they started on. This way, I can, if something appears in my backline or something, I can just send it off and not have to deal with it. You know, that, that's a, a safety option. If, I, if something happens and some an opponent blinks in the backline or something weird happens, I send them off to the sunset and I, I dealt with it. Because that's maybe the only way we lose, like somebody breaching our backline and killing our heroes or something. So this is the final boss, Necromancer. Adventurer, let's send him field back to the abyss. Overcharge! Now uh, we get the crazy cooldown. So I'm going to play at times one speed for a while here until I get everything lined up. Obviously, I'm going to instantly level up every single thing I get because I make more money out of this and less. Uh, this guy in general steals your stuff and your spells. And as you see, he just poisoned the ground. So if he poisons the ground of a hero... Yeah, I'm not going to make anybody here right now until I'm 100% sure that we are ready to handle that. Uh, maybe I spend too much money on leveling. Okay, healing starts happening. This guy's not gonna... In general, he's just flipping. Uh, the, the whole hero mechanic is gonna be very weird with this guy. He's gonna be sending my units back into sunset. Whoop. Boom, boom. Let's continue spawning. Yeah, he does whatever. We, uh... We need my pets. I need to start spawning things. We're losing units. It's okay. It's okay. I have a lot of money, so let's level these guys up. Send this guy to Oblivion, because he's gonna destroy our whole field. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's go here. Send that up. Um, let's go with a lightning shock line over there. Uh, you know, as you see, I'm still not sure about what I'm gonna heroify. Until I set up the whole board, we're not heroifying anything. Until everything is ready. Because uh, if, if my board is 100% ready, then he cannot transfer anything anywhere. So we want to make our board 100% ready. Yep, he put a poison on there. We can't do anything about it. I can't summon, by the way. That's why I'm just sitting here not doing anything. Start going some healings. Let's not forget, we're also getting regen every time we level. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay. Continue spawning. I'm still playing on slow-mo. He blank one of my leveled up units in the, to the front. Let's play a bit faster. Okay, he poisoned there. Level up so we maybe save it. Nope, didn't save it. Yeah, we're gonna most likely lose all our heroes. <laughs> when the time comes. Most likely is the demeaning factor here. Demeaning? Not demeaning. What does demeaning to do with anything? And I cannot summon. Got all of that. Okay, let's level these things up. As now we're super rich. Continue spawning. Level these guys up too, so we get all the regen. Continue spawning. Uh, let's also start spawning these guys. And let's also start spawning like some spells. Oh, this this is gonna. He just blank my guy to the front. Okay, we need to have everything lined up in a way where he can't blink things anymore. Level things up. I am I'm super duper duper rich, so the time has come to actually level up everything. Every, 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 everything. Every, 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 everything is gonna level up. Maybe synchronizing this is not a good idea. Doing this everything at the same time might not be a good idea, but a theory says that every, 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 everything is gonna get crazy regen. So it doesn't even matter. Let's go with lightning strikes. Let's go with smack this guy to death. And uh, theoretically, this guy should not be able to pull anything out of us anymore. Out of the lane it is anyway. Still spawning, I'm still leveling. Still spawning, still leveling. Here, create some tanks. I'll level this thing. Uh, do we have everything lined up and ready to go? Are we ready to win? 
Now this guy is going to do his thing. Which is he's going to go into transition into phase 2. He is damage immune right now. No, it cannot be. How can you be so strong? Ah, enough of this. Okay, well, you're enough of this thing. This. I'm done with you. You're not going to survive. War, whatever. I, I cannot summon anymore. Eh, doesn't matter. Time to start leveling things up. Heroes incoming. I'm pausing again and again because I don't want anything to come between me and spamming the hero thing. Okay, he's getting my spells again. Uh, set up this guy. You know what? Sell him. And set him up. And level. And at this point, I have a super duper mega line. That is ready to destroy everything that even remotely tries to do anything against us. Uh, go. Maybe having a healer line here would do the play. The optimal play. Please give me this back. Please give me this thing back. Send them. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He just did a swap. He swapped my hero to the front. Yeah, obviously. I told you he's not going to pull things through, but... I just lost a million units here. Oh, I lost a million units. That's actually true. And now I can start setting things up again. Nice. And by setting things up, I obviously also gain healing. Let's not forget that. Let's go with lightning orb in the top half. Let's go with ultimate. Go with send this guy to hero. Let's go with... Uh, this is locked. God dang it. We lost our defense. Line these guys up. As long as I'm leveling, I'm healing. Continue lightning bolting. Continue. I, I don't have the wild strike. I guess lightning aura. What does he have? Blocking aura. Blocking aura, the dev told me, is the worst one you can possibly get on the boss. So uh, that is lucky on our end. As always. As all things should be. Lucky that is. I'm not going to allow him to do anything to us. Send off another pom pom punch. He even gets regen because opponents appear with HP regen. Let's make this line death immune. Because I don't know what the opponent is doing. It's a lightning strike. It's lightning rain. Uh, I would like to be able to set up another defender here in the front line. If the game allows me to. I'm not even allowed to put like anything in the front line right now. And all of these are dead. I mean, not all of them. Half of them. The other half? What is this? Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to get destroyed anyway. Okay, let's go with a lightning storm. Let's go with a lightning orb. And we... Oh, I can see what he's about to steal from us. Where is he shooting us? Okay, these two got hit. I'm gonna go with shield this line. Because I'm seeing too many opponents get through. What is this? Opponents are getting through. We lost some units. We lost some units. Whoa! Uh, we lost a unit. Didn't lose some units. We straight up lost one unit there. That's good. Lightning rain. I don't think it's worth it. It's with defenders. And now we have everything lined up, ready, and set up to win. Because there is nothing else. Right? Everything is leveled up. Everything is doing well. Let's, uh, I would go as far to say we're going to set up some things here and just level them up to heal. Setting up water and leveling them up twice to get regen out of this. And the bottom team is dead. What does that attack mean? Uh, send them. Send this. Send this. Send this to protect the bottom. Go here. Level. Oh, he's doing the slam, but where? Let's go speed one. Oh, come on, man. How fast is this? Was there an indication on this? Obviously, he's dead. There was an indication as to what I was supposed to do there. Nope, we have lost the backline hero. Is he doing the slam again? Nope, he is casting. He just cast this. I just locked my rust rockling. Also use this then. And he also cast that. The protection. Send attacks. Send lightning. I should spell cast as much as I can. In general, lightning strikes, do 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 and orb. You know what would be better? If the boss was inside the zone of attack, like if I had the ability to 
Um, does the lightning rain actually hit him? Like, if the lightning rain hits him, then I'm okay with it. Like, if this here for it. Oh, that's the wave. He just did the wave. So the wave is blockable as far as I know. I'm gonna block here. I guess the front line, as always, doesn't block. Next time, block the back line. Maybe the block isn't even blockable. The block isn't blockable. Yes, that's a sentence. <laughs> Lightning. Eh. Okay, I didn't realize that. <laughs> that. That's on me. That's on me. He's about to steal my spells again. Send this off. Hit him with this. Protect everybody. Set up the water. See what he's gonna steal. Nothing. Oh, he's about to steal my zap. And I can't even use it. Oh, it does show what he's gonna steal. Now he's gonna also steal this. Well, I can set that up there. <laughs> Not that it matters. That also doesn't matter. Let's go. Lightning the corner. Any empty spots in the back line? I would say no. Let's set up a war here as that guy's dying. Level up, level up. Okay, we're winning, man. Are you winning, son? That's the, the one of the yes times. I'm winning, boys. We're winning, boys. Took us a while, but we're doing it. Oh, we lost everything. Panic again. <laughs> panic, panic. No, I'm kidding. We're winning easily. And our hammer slammer. It's okay. At this point, we've got complete control of the match. It doesn't matter what opponents do. We won. Send the tree. The tree got the win. Let's go. Let's go. Victory in the easiest difficulty, by the way. This is what the easiest difficulty looks with piercing. If I didn't have piercing, would have lost. Meta progression. Da -na -na -na. Did you enjoy the game? If you did, drop a like on the channel if you want to subscribe to also helps on the channel. And if you want me to play more of this, maybe with the fire elementals or the air elementals, then maybe come down below and tell me about it. I'm not sure if I will play this. As I said, I'm going to go off to vacation right now. So maybe if I come back, we play more of this. Or maybe I will pre-record something. I'm you know, I'm, I'm gonna think about it. I'm, I'm switching left and right as to what to do. 810 meta progression is how much we got. So uh, that's a very nice and easy win right there. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, come on. Everything is calculated. 12,000. Let's go. I didn't do a single nightmare. Discover the tactician. Now, there is one more thing in the game. Discover Oak's gift. There are uh, the server, There is customization. As you see on the bottom right, this was permanently there. They customize. You can press this button. And then uh, you can go into any unit you want and say, oh, you know what? I want my, uh, what, where's the waterling here? My waterling, or even the higher version, right? Uh, the aqua elemental. Or, uh, you know, let's go with the, the awesome thing we had, right? This guy, the ice elemental. Wait, does this spoil what exists? Jagged elemental. I never have seen jagged. Jolt. Lightning. Okay, they definitely spoil what exists, but anyway. And then you can go like, oh, he's gonna have a, a mushtish. Uh, not not there, though. Uh, in his face, he's gonna have like, poof, he's gonna have a mushtish. <laughs> how fun is that? And how stupid is this? I love it. We're gonna leave him like this. Uh, there, you can, you can put things in random different spots, like you can put um, like a bow tie here, or just a little pip. Like now, now he's like a gentleman. Or uh, you can put like a hat, but not there. I guess the hat's supposed to be here. So like this. He's like a hello, and then you can like make this thing bigger, and uh, he becomes uh, an awesome guy, right? You you know, I think I made him Jotaro <laughs> at this point. Now let's go like deeper. Oh, that's sideways. I guess this is a bit more back, and then like a bit more, no, definitely not on the side. I would say a bit deeper, like this. And then I would like to rotate it upwards. Nope, not like this, like uh, this. Here we go. He's a bit more of a cool guy. I'm gonna go a bit deeper even, though that's backwards. Once again, this is deeper, like this. And here he is now, a good old boy. And uh, we're gonna remove what we have on this one. Come on, go nothing. Here we go. Uh, I guess in the torso, although you can also give him wings. But I guess in the torso, the most logical one would be a mushroom. No, obviously not. I would say the torso needs a good old bow tie. Let's go with a bow tie. Now that makes it, you know what, I would like to have this reach 200 stars, I would like to have the good old actual high, but it is what it is. Yeah, here we go, now we're gonna save the character, and we're gonna have him forever, and then he's gonna look like this. You can also paint these things, by the way, you can make the hat red or whatever, so uh, you're not actually forced to be the colors. This is blue, which, which part of this is this? I'm gonna say this is white, and I'm gonna say number two, what is this? This is red. And then, last but not least, the actual color is going to be black. So, uh, that, that, that's what he looks like. Definitely not part of the character, obviously. And now it's very visible as to why it doesn't fit. 
but that does not matter to me. I do enjoy what I'm doing and I'm having fun with it and I hope you guys are too. I'm gonna even go into even more awesomeness here. Look at this guy. He, he wears a hat. He wears a hat. That is what he mainly does. Save character. Now we have one character already. Look at them. <laughs> here he is. Uh, and the rest, obviously, here it, whatever it is. We got the little uh, choo choo train guy. <laughs> anyway, and then meta progression is like a lot of things. I want to really quickly mention for people that care about this. Uh, oh no, this is going to be a two hour video. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't want to hit the two hour mark on the video. I don't know why. So if you enjoyed, drop likes, etc. Uh, I really like the game. I might play more of this. And yeah, that's going to be it. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.